You know you're not supposed All to have right, that horse in town. Down. How's it going? Cool. Oh. Good. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. You know, when I was a boy, I used to wonder what it'd be like to have a family. My mama died when she had me, and my daddy was gone by the time I was eight. You recovered, Dan. Yes, sir. Thank you. It won't happen again. Yeah, oh, hey, Arthur. Hello. Hi, Uncle. Okay, I'll catch you later, Dan. All right. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Collected on that ranch hand. Slippery feller. Lucky I got him. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. In a field, someplace, a mama's were in Lincolnshire, my daddy's were outside of Rotterdam. That's what they told me. The modern world is puzzled. But the old world was worse. Our job. Our job. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose at the time, but I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the
Nice and easy. Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm... 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 You won't find anything on this property. We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Uh, uh. We've got nothing, sir. But when we have something... It will be yours. That debt weighs on me heavily. It's going to be paid. I'm afraid your trip here <coughs> has been in vain. I said I would get the money, and I will. Just, I can't for a while. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I... Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. A little patience is all I require. <laughs> you ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm, I'm not running anywhere. I'm, 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 do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. I got you now. Please, please show some comp Be reasonable. <laughs> you borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money.
Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. So, we found the O'Driscoll's hideout, but no sign of comb. Well, so long as we're hitting them before they hit us. Oh, and that kid? Well, He's all right now. Good morning. Okay.
Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? Uh, I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. <laughs> okay, boy. Let's go. Thank you. 
Okay. Yep. Good job. Let's go, boy. 
Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Parker, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? Look where you're going. The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Yeah! You could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Jose. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal the stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. How you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, the lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that. Especially when they get a few years on them. What are you getting off for? <laughs> One stage This is nothing.
like you were saying before. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you. Must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. <laughs> There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. We can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Father home, Sonny. Sure is. Get him down here. Please, get him down here. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling some partner? Free. Spinal. Alignment. What? Spinal. Alignment. The Lord God Almighty. Or whomever built us. But our brain's in here, but our souls is in our backs. You, sir, your, your back looks kind of tricky. Not sure. I can fix that for you. Just 10 or 15 sessions. Whiskey suits me fine, sir. Whiskey is, whiskey is his back of the problem. You ever meet a stock?
It's all about the... Is that better? Just... Yeah! Yeah! It's a, it's a little bit better. Uh, uh, this session has been free, but perhaps I might call again. How much will it cost me? I'm offering you virility, and you're asking me about money, sir. I ain't made of money, Mr... My rates are reasonable. Have a think about it. I'll be around this way next time. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How long do you think we're gonna stick around here for? You're gonna crash if you don't slow down. Not sure. Here we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. What are you doing? Let's go. Work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure.
Isn't it good to be out of that goddamn snow? Hey, can this wait? I'm kind of busy right now. If you're so busy, Arthur. That is what I like to see. Mr. Pearson, quite a country, quite a country. You know, sometimes I'm glad I left the Navy. Too many men. <laughs> Too many men. This world, far more genteel, huh? <laughs> I never figured running in a bunch of outlaws would be the genteel option. <laughs> well, I've seen things, sir. I've seen terrible things. My back needs some working over. Well, lie down and I'll get cracking. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> there, boy. Yeah, okay, boy. Here.
Take me to town, please. Oh, you're a good man. A good man. Uh, uh, Pretty suck. What's the matter with you? I'll take that, pal. Just had to ask for help, huh? Easy there. Easy, whoa. And what is Chelonianism? No less than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Shell of safety. 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 Shell of saf
Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Chilonia. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Chilonia. Leave me alone, Arthur! Arthur Morgan. Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Calm 
down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yep. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um. Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name, H Hester? Jose, yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. A 
feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Who's Calories. your friend there? <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The jaws of gunslinging. It's win-win, freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay, then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity, shoot him. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him? Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to them. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. But here are some other flop house. Like a 